So now let's see what is as we are going to use the beam member to draw the SFD and BMD. So let's first know, let know what is something called beam because most of the interview asks simply what you understand by beam. What do you understand by beam? A beam is a a beam is a horizontal member horizontal member acted upon by lateral loops okay acted upon by lateral loads a beam must need to be horizontal okay and that beam should be acted upon by lateral load now what is lateral load for that let's try to understand if this is my member which should be horizontal okay now if this is my axis of the member then i need to apply some force the axis of that force should be 90 degree to the axis of the member say this is my load now if i will to i want to draw the axis for the loading diagram and axis of the beam they are making at angle of 90 degree so this load for this particular member is a lateral load okay so a beam will be called as a beam when it will be the member will be horizontal and that will be acted by lateral loads now can do you think that this member will be able to carry this load no I need to provide some support, any kind of support. So for the time I am providing these two support, isn't it? That means what? If you are going to study the beam to draw the SFD and BMD, I need to know first a member. Without the support and load, whatever we have drawn is a member. Okay? That's why I have at first I have this described with you what is the type of member: 1D, 2D, or 3D. This member is a 2D member because beam is a 2D member. Now to have a member into a beam, then that member should be given some support condition. Along with that, that member should be given some load. And that load R should be a lateral load. So if a member is given with the proper support condition with the proper loading, that member will be called as the beam. Are you getting the clear idea? A member will not be called as beam. A member will be called as beam when it will have proper support and along with some given loading condition. And that load should be lateral load. Okay? Now, if a beam need to have some support, so let's see what are the types of support that we can add with the member to have a beam. Okay? So for that, let's know types of types of support. types of support now what are the support we can provide number one is pin or hinge support okay pin or hinge support yeah number two is roller support roller support number three is fixed support okay fixed support and number four is knife edge knife edge okay so these are the four kind of support normally we use to have a member into a beam now how a pin or hinge support it look like let's see that so this is one member, I am just concentrating on this side, okay, so I am giving a break line, clear, what I am doing, I am just showing you the support, so don't give impression on the members, what about the members I am drawing, don't think of that, just think of that, how the supports are look like, so this is one member, what I am doing, I am providing at this end, a pin or in support okay so don't think about other side because i am given the i have given the break line 
So P or hinge support is look like something like this. This is the support. Now the member and the sub support will be provided with the nails. One pin. Okay. Say this is one wooden piece. What I am doing? I am. This is say my support. And this is the member. Now what I am doing? I am just using a pin. Okay, to hold this. I don't know what is there in the other side. Forget about that. Just if one end, at the end, you are providing with the pin and the holding mechanism that will be called as the pin support. Okay, that means one nail is used to attach the member and the support. Okay, that is called the pin support. Now let's see what is called ro roller support. For that also, I am taking another member. This is another member. I am forgetting about the other end. If it is a roller support, then similar to the similar to the pin support, I will use one pin to connect the member and the support. But below the support, I will allow some mechanism so that my support can roll. Okay, my support can roll over the surface. This is my surface. In the pin support, this is my surface in the roller support, and over the surface, the support can roll in the uh, horizontal direction. Okay. Now, what do you understand? This is my member. Now, this is my support. Previously, when I was talking about this pin support, pin support does not allow the transition or the movement or the movement along the horizontal direction. Now, but this time, when I am talking about the roller support, roller support is also connected by a pin with the member and the support, but below the support, there is a rolling mechanism. Now, my support can roll holding the member. By holding the member, support can roll in the horizontal direction. That is how we can call also transitional uh, movement can also be possible in case of roller support. Okay, don't think about the other side. Other side can be any support. Now, let's talk about the fixed support in case of fixed support if this is my member okay let me draw in other place so somewhere here i am showing you in case of fixed support this is my member i am giving a break line here now it is my fixed support then what i will do member will go inside the support this is my support now my member is going inside my support and the support and the member will be firmly connected firmly connected okay my member and my support will be firmly connected so what will happen if this is my member this is my support now this is my mechanism what happened the member goes inside the support okay that means the support will not allow any movement horizontal movement vertical movement or even also the rotation because the member has gone inside the support so support will not allow any x directional movement y directional movement or also the rotation he will try to give the resistance against the rotation he will try to rotate it also it will this support will not allow the rotation support will give the reaction against the rotation that are going to apply okay and if you talk about the knife is okay i'm writing here this is a fixed support okay fixed support now let's talk about the knife edge if you talk about the knife edge knife edge is if this is my member in case of knife edge member will be just just placed over a sharp edge Okay, one sharp is like a knife will be there and over that just you are placing the member. Now if you do like this, just, hold, just placing the member just over a knife edge, body will have the, L, will have the uh, ability to move in the horizontal direction. But body will not move in the vertical direction. But if you talk about the rotation, rotation is allowed, isn't it? You are just keeping the body somewhere here. That means rotation is allowed. Nobody is giving the resistance. Support is not giving the resistance. Horizontal movement is also allowed. But vertically, if you want to, if you want to push, the push will not be allowed. Isn't it? 
so this is the knife edge clear so i hope this is clear to you how a pin support is look like and pin support will not allow the movement in the x direction because pin support in case of pin support also member and the support is connected by pin so pin will not allow the movement in the horizontal direction isn't it but if you talk about the in the case of pin support if you talk about the vertical movement vertical movement also will not allow okay because pin is giving the resistance against the y directional applied forces but if you talk about the moment in case of the pin support in case of moment support is not giving any reaction isn't it so in case of pin support only horizontal movement is is not allowed vertical movement is also not allowed but rotation is allowed by the support in case of roller support horizontal movement is allowed vertical movement is not allowed because support will give the reaction even also moment is allowed if you want to roll it or into bend it by applying the moment it will allow the movement it will not give any resistance against the applied moment if we talk about the fixed support fixed support is not giving you the allowance for movement in the horizontal direction because my member has gone inside the support so support will not allow the horizontal movement if we talk about the vertical uh, movement also of this member this member will not be allowed to move vertically because member has gone inside the support now we talk about the rotation also rotation also is not allowed as i have already shown you this this is the support and this is the member now in case of this if you push it support will not allow me if you push in the vertically downward or upward direction support will not allow me and if you are applying a moment also moment is also not allowed by the fixed support that means if you are going to apply a moment in case of a fixed support support will give the resistance to resist the applied moment clear if we talk about the knife base knife base this kind of support is not is not giving any resistance to the horizontal movement so if you want to try to move the body body will easily move it will not give any resistance but vertically you cannot move if we talk about the moment movement is allowed here okay now so something uh, after this discussion what we came to know particular support has given particular kind of resistance okay so based on that what we can why we should understand that if we talk about this pin support if i apply some known force here say 500 kN of load i am apply here theek okay? hai so p is my known force because i am going to apply so known force is p now out of this p how much the pin support will resist in the vertical direction because vertically downward force i am going to apply over a member then support will try to bear this amount of load or try to resist this amount of applied load but i don't know how much this kind of support can resist are you following me though you are going to apply a known force over this member but out of that known force how much amount the particular support will resist that is unknown for me okay so that's why i will say whatever the resistance is given by the pin support in the y direction that is a unknown for me so i'm giving the name f y because i don't know this is a variable for me clear now in case of this this pin support if you are applying some force over here you are applying some force p okay now how much p is resisted by this support because this support is not allowing this movement in the horizontal direction though we are trying to move the body in this direction but this support is not allowing that movement that means support is giving some resistance in that particular applied direction so that will be a unknown for us so i am giving the name say fx because force in the x direction the unknown force in the x direction offered by the support how much that is unknown for us clear so but if we talk about the moment you are if you are going to apply any moment over here so this is my moment i am applying m which is known moment what will happen support will say that i will not take any amount of moment out of the applied m moment so whatever the moment will develop here that will be zero so i am writing zero over here okay because that is not becoming unknown now because i am going to apply m he is going to resist by a zero amount so zero is not unknown for zero is known is it okay so if i talk about the pin or heel support how many unknown forces that you need to be find out clearly fx and fy 
force in the x direction force in the y direction is my unknown force so in case of the pin support or hinge support will have two unknown forces two unknown forces now if you are becoming a structural engineer it is your prime importance to find these unknown forces for this particular kind of support isn't it because say you are going to design a building now how much amount of load you are going to apply on the building that is the known force because say i am going to use the building so my body weight is going to be applied force for that particular building now that building is standing over some column now out of my 100 kg force of my body weight how much amount of column will give the resistance to carry my body that is unknown but that unknown is prime importance to find out as a engineer if i am engineer i need to know because during the design of the column i need to check whether the applied load that i am going to apply on the building is safely carried by the column or not okay so that's why it is very becoming very important to know the unknown forces and that's why i'm writing for a particular pin or hinge support i need to find two unknown forces because this kind of support will show two unknown forces or two unknown directional resistance it will provide now in case of roller support x directional movement whatever the amount of force you are going to apply over here he is not giving any amount of resistance so x directional force is zero i am showing here zero if you are going to apply any vertical force he is giving resistance to the vertical force so this is becoming unknown for me so fy in case of roller support is unknown if you are going to apply any movement say m but support will say sorry i will not give any resistance so it's zero is it so in case of roller support how many unknown forces one unknown forces okay now coming to the coming to the fixed support if you talk about the fixed support if you are going to apply a force over here you are applying force p the support is giving resistance against this p so i am giving the name say fx is my unknown force because out of the p how much the support is giving the resistance that is unknown okay if you are going to apply some vertical force support will give the resistance against that vertical force but how much resistance will give that we don't, don't know because it's unknown similarly if you are going to apply some moment over here known moment say m but a unknown amount of moment will develop by the support that is say m m say x i am writing okay so mx is developing because of application of the m m is applied out of the m amount of moment how much is resisting by this particular support is mx so fx mx and fy is my unknown forces so how many unknown forces three unknown forces clear yeah. similarly if you talk about the knife edge if you are applying the force over here say p knife edge is not giving any resistance knife edge will say i will not carry i will not give any resistance against that applied force p in the x direction if you are giving any vertical force then knife edge will say okay i am i can give you the resistance to carry this amount of p because i have a resistance similarly in case of knife edge you are going to apply any known moment but knife edge will say sorry sir i will not carry or i don't have any ability to carry the applied moment so it is blindly you can say i i carry only zero amount of resistance to the applied resistance okay so what we came to know now we came to know for the different kinds of support like pin roller fixed and knife edge we came to know that how many number of unknown forces that brings by its and its support and our prime aim is to find this different types of or different numbers of unknown forces okay so the next in the next part we will try to understood what are the types of beam and in case of a beam how many numbers of unknown forces that we will try to find out okay so for that that you just write this portion